Hello and welcome everyone back to Universe Sandbox. This is Spike Viper, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen Elon Musk wearing his uh, Nuke Mars t-shirt, you know? Nuking Mars is just a beautiful idea, you know? Drop enough low fallout nuclear weapons on, you know, the poles of Mars and you can melt the ice and let out carbon dioxide and create an atmosphere. Now what I'm curious about is how close we can get to that in Universe Sandbox. Now we do not have nuclear weapons, but we can use small impacts to simulate nuclear weapons. Um, we just don't want to go too far with it, obviously, because there would be a point at which it's no longer nuclear weapons and it's just exploding Mars into smithereens, but we'll try to avoid that. So I'm thinking to make... I think Haley's Comet would actually be a good size for this. I think that would be large enough to do a little bit of damage, but not like, you know, destroy everything. But the question is, can we actually melt? Because Universe Sandbox 2 does have some liquid simulation now. Ooh! Damn. It's quite a bit of damage. <laughs> can we melt the poles? I'm gonna say probably not. We'll probably have to get a little bit more creative. I'm, I believe Universe Sandbox, even though they do uh, do the temperature locally now, and there is a surface grid for the temperatures and such, I am uh, pretty sure that the liquid states are determined by the average temperature of... The well, that's not true, is it? That's not true, because we do have, uh, seasons on Earth, so maybe it would work. Let's see. Let's just, let's take a look at, um... So, we're just gonna add a little bit more water so we can actually see if we're making a difference. Uh, so we're doing this a little bit unrealistically and out of order, but, you know, it's... It's for viewing purposes, and also, you, you didn't come to this channel if you want things to be 100% realistic. Wow, that's a little bit too much water. We're going to reduce the amount of Okay, now there's none! Thank you, game, for giving me the beautiful option of, of completely covered or none. Alright, so let's see. Can we, in Universe Sandbox 2, locally melt some water? Or some ice into water? The issue is Mars is spinning, and that is going to give us a very challenging time. So we're going to go ahead and turn... <laughs> this would probably cause a bit of damage. <laughs> we're going to turn Mars' rotational period to something really, really high so that we just don't have to deal with that. So if we repeatedly impact the same spot, go to the surface, we can actually see the temperature here. Um, and we can't actually see where we hit, the temperature went up a little bit. But we are going to just have to really rapid fire this. I don't think there's any better solution. And I believe Estimate said that you would need about a thousand nukes to get, you know, to start melting the ice caps. And so, oh! Oh my god! Wait, <laughs> it's actually working. Wait a moment. Now these are quite a bit larger than nukes, but you can actually see momentarily there... We did actually have some ice melting. Uh, wh what? <laughs> and we can actually... Oh, come on. Do it again. <laughs> we need to get the temperature back where it was. Uh, the warmest part on Mars is like... Really, really still quite cold. I think we need a little bit larger objects. So, how about we just go a little bit larger. Oh man, we actually do, you can see on the map here, that there is this dot here, which is negative... What? It's colder? Why is it colder? Why, why is there less heat there? What the heck? Alright, time to send in Sedna. No, I'm joking. What, what is going on? I'm really concerned. I was really hoping... Actually, ah, uh, a little, a little large, but why don't we shrink it a bit and see if we can get the effect I'm looking for. Obviously, this is more of the equivalent of firing every single weapon on Earth at once at Mars, but you know, you know, it's all for science, right guys? 
Oh, is it breaking up in the atmosphere? That's odd. I think the rush limit kicked in a little bit there. Um, that was a little... Oh, there we go. Those particles are large enough to melt the ice. And then this is going to leave a nice crater as well. So maybe we'll get a lake. Hopefully this doesn't heat up Mars too much. We're not trying to melt the entire... The entire surface. We're only looking to create a little melted area to see if we could do the poles. Alright. It's pretty warm. Okay, we do have a melted area, but I believe it's going to be way too hot for water. Yeah, and now we just have to wait and see if it hits a level at which water can exist. Look at that. We are we are slowly melting the sheet of- Oh god, Mars, stop running away. God, I hate it when my planets run away. Terrible experience. Okay, so we can't actually see that the heat is spreading over the surface. Things are melting, but it's slowing down, and now it should be cooling down. It is, but there's no water. I think all the water in that area evaporated, which is really quite unfortunate. And now it's freezing again, isn't it? Ah! Oh. You'd think the water from the... Uh, touching regions would like flow in but I don't think that's simulated so let's go ahead and set the maximum temperature to a hundred real quickly just so that we get a little bit more leeway here and let's try adding some water and seeing if we can create like a little pool excuse me excuse me why are you not working oh I'm going way too fast aren't I yeah yeah, that was a little bit too fast for the simulation. No! It's just putting ice down again! What the heck? Why? It's currently... Oh, it's negative 38 again? Oh, damn, that was really fast. What? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, you know what we have that we can increase the temperature with? There we go. Elon Musk, have you considered using lasers? <laughs> Question of the day. You won't watch this, but lasers seem to be very effective as well. We could just boop a laser directly at Mars poles, and that would be much faster as well. And you wouldn't have to pay for uh, shipping, you know? Okay, although you'd probably like ionize the atmosphere around the laser beam and cause some damage there. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> what happens when you fire lasers at planets? This game seems to know... Okay, so if we do that and then we throw some water on it. Very curious. Oh god, that's not... I hate it when I accidentally shoot lasers at things. When I meant to just, like, not do that. I'm having a lot of trouble here. Oh! Oh, there we go! We got some liquid water, but it just instantly disappears because it's way too hot for it. <laughs> the issue is we, we really do have to find that balance. And the balance is not easy. It's only at, like, the edges. And we, got, we can wait a bit, but then it's gonna be dark again. Okay, let's turn on flashlight mode. I'm done dealing with the lighting. Flashlight. Um, excuse me. What is going on? Oh, I have to actually select the correct tool. It's also like broken. I think I broke the game. I hate it. Oh, wait. See, it's putting water down, and then it just instantly disappears. Probably because it's like 100, 100 degrees. Let's just wait a little bit longer until it's not boiling anymore. Woo! Now it's like 90-something. That's... That is doable. No. No, it's just deleting the water. Well, that's disappointing. We've really made quite the mess, haven't we? <laughs> Why? I just want to nuke Mars! 
Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. That's just gonna freeze again. Disappointing. I think this would be easier to do if we were actually on... something like this where we have Mars that isn't moving and then we can just try to seed some water onto it and then it should initially yeah so let's say we dropped payloads of just water onto Mars I mean that'd be really challenging to do because Mars is really well <laughs> water is really heavy like really heavy so Transporting water would not be easy at all. That's why you want to be able to make water. Hydrolysis, it's much more effective than just bringing water to your location. Um, well, let's say we had uh, machines on Mars that were seeding it with water for a while, and then we were like, oh, oh, now we want to melt it. Can we use nukes? <laughs> that That's the question of the day, kids. Can we use nukes to locally melt this water? And there's plenty of water. Like, there we go. Beautiful. I'd, I'd say that's enough. I wonder how shiny... Like, if you looked at Mars, it would look so odd. Because, like... Through a telescope today, Mars would probably be easier to see if it had oceans and stuff. Because you have to think the reflection, the albedo, would change quite a bit who knows who knows i'm i'm no marsologist i'm just thinking all right haley's comet let's do it launch boom we're having the same problem where it's just not enough but turn that rotational period up get some of that surface we know the temperature let's see if we can get oh oh that was quite effective the point it struck actually hit 100 degrees too hot but if we continually bombard this same area with many many explosives the idea is the heat will spread and even out a bit among the area um that's just a theory a planet theory alrighty so it's it's looking very unstable the game is not good at doing oh my god the entire thing just pixelated all the smoothing just absolutely died huh I think I got uh, broke I think I put the precision at something too low. One of the numbers must have gotten really wacky. Okay then. That's that's weird. All right. Okay, back back. Let's just d d Sedna make me proud. Okay, do we have water though? Because it, it did it did melt the ice in all this area, but like it's really disappointing that we don't get the water. It just instantly annihilates it, which a little bit realistic, but not like super realistic. Although I am ignoring a possible reason that the water is disappearing. It may not be the temperature, it could actually be because of the lack of an atmosphere to hold it down. So let's see if we turn the atmosphere up. Oh my god, that was it. Oh, that's why. Oh, it was just instantly boiling because of the lack of pressure. Oh, I feel like such a meme. I got that completely wrong. Alright. That's pretty bad. Apologies. <laughs> okay, wait. Now the question becomes, what about the poles that come with the game because the game does actually have Mars with poles look at look at that kind of maybe I think I can turn on climate on Mars unless I'm wrong city lights of course 
Of course, we need the Elon Musk approved Mars cities. Okay, um... Let's see... Okay, so we set it to one Earth atmosphere. Wow! Wow, just doing that made all of the water appear. Okay. Nice. And then I guess now we do our job and, uh... Let's see if we can do it with these smaller explosives that we were originally setting out to use. Alright, let's see. Haley's Comet. Oop, let's just boop, 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 boop. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of modification. I know, I know, you guys are, you guys know what I'm gonna do. Boop! It's just necessary. It's really convenient to just stop the rotation of Mars. That's exactly what we'll do in real life. Alright, so the point is we have to warm up an area to the point where we could realistically keep liquid water. In real life, the point would be to release the carbon dioxide that's trapped, but that's not really a thing we can do in the game, unfortunately. Boom. See, the area, the area still is not really showing liquid water. <sighs> Very confusing. Is it because it's too hot? So, in this game, you gotta do it in kind of a step-by-step -step basis, right? So, it's about 500 degrees, so let's see if the water starts to form. We just have to hope that the ice doesn't start encroaching back. Which it looks like it is. Uh, it's not like there's water coming. But if I drop water there, I think it'll just stay until it freezes. So uh, I think this almost confirms my theory about how this works. Um, what? What? What was that? Game! What the heck was that? <laughs> Why? I am this that all right there there is some wacky stuff <laughs> not gonna lie what is happening I just accidentally flash froze Mars why is the ice spreading like so what on earth man I guess not on earth but well well that's odd I done broke Mars. <laughs> oh, but look! That one spot is now liquid. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Alright, I, I think we have come to the conclusion nuking Mars is 100% the way to go, unless we have access to lasers. Lasers are just more effective! Sorry. Sorry, Elon. Look at this. Boo! Look at that. That is just efficiency. Look! The atmosphere is back. We did it. The ice is running away from the laser. Why? How is that? Oh, because the water melts and then it moves and then it melts and then it moves. Oh, uh, too bad we just like completely destroyed Mars. Nice. This, this is what terraforming looks like. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, that's enough for now. We'll do better next time. Bye. Thanks to my patrons.